Also today, as we've been reporting, 17 child sex abuse cases filed against the bankrupt Buffalo Diocese can now move forward in state court. Tonight, you're hearing from one of the survivors of alleged clergy sex abuse. I spoke with Cheryl Bentley today, and she tells me she was just seven years old when her priest at All Saints in Riverside started abusing her and continued for years. It wasn't easy for Cheryl to talk about what happened back then. And I want to let you know some of the details are graphic. You are a survivor of sex abuse. Yes, abuse. I am. Yes, I am. What happened to me was um, horrible. Cheryl Bentley is one of 17 survivors of alleged clergy sex abuse who will be able to have her case heard in state court following a recent ruling. Cheryl tells me she was a student at All Saints School in Riverside when the late Monsignor James Hayes started abusing her. I was at least uh, seven years old. It started off by just uh, caressing, um, French kissing that, I'm sorry, I was just a damn kid. I didn't know what any of that was. I had, I had no clue. And then through the years, unfortunately, it um, just, it progressed. She says it went on until she graduated eighth grade in 1984. A kid is innocent. They don't understand wh what, the adults around them um, are showing and or teaching. Monsignor Hayes, uh, you know what? He did this to people way before I was born, and he continued it. Shell says she is thankful her case is moving forward. This has happened in the Catholic Diocese for years, and they've hit it. It's time for them to tell their truth instead of hiding behind it. No child, no child should be violated. Well, the attorney representing Cheryl, numerous others as well, Steve Boyd, telling me 900 cases are still being mediated in federal bankruptcy court. He says he will be pushing for these 17 cases going back to state court to go to jury trials.